joining us tonight in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Today, I just want to share something for people who are not married. So, if, if, you, if you are already married, you can take out your offering and let me prove it so that you give it to them. And then you can go. And then it has mainly to do with the brothers who are not married. So, that is, that is the main thing. So, please. I know that doesn't apply to most of you. How many does it apply to? All right. How many does it not apply to? Huh? But how can it apply to you if you are already married? You can teach others. All right. Father, we thank you for your blessing tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right. Choices. Okay. Number one. I'm going to share with you seven types of women you must not marry. <laughs> That's right. That's what I was explaining. I think you should take out your offering. Those of you who are married... Lift up your hand and let's pray. All right. Now, there are many dangers for a young man who wants to live happily ever after. Isn't it? Now, when you are a young man, you are full of sexual feelings. Is it not true? So, the reason why this message is important, okay, is because um, when you are a young man, or maybe a young lady too, interested in sex, you get it? Your sexual needs, physiological needs, <laughs> it guides you, but you don't even know that it is guiding you. And what I'm explaining is the principal reason why many times people go and get themselves something painful. For their lives. Yes. Because Proverbs 27 verse 7 says that a satisfied man loathes honey. He doesn't like even honey. You see. But to a hungry man every bitter thing is sweet. get it? Two. I'm explaining why 
sometimes you, you don't understand who somebody has chosen to marry. Uh-huh. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, what have you gone to get? What type of beast are you bringing? It is because of this verse. You see, those, yes. The Bible tells us that when a man is satisfied, a, a sated man, this one says, okay, or a new King James says, a satisfied soul, a full soul, loath, he, 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 when he sees the honey, it's like, what is this? He's not impressed. But a hungry man yes. to a hungry soul, <laughs> every, every bitter thing is sweet. Yes. 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 So before you realize so, the person has gone to get something bitter. So, because of hunger. Because of desire. Sometimes you ask yourself, this guy, what is wrong with him? What is he going to get? You are immunizing us. Yes. This is how what, is he, what is he doing? It's going to spoil his life. And that's why sometimes you see people, after they have married, you see them, they are now, they are now satisfied. <laughs> And now that they are satisfied, even the honey does not appeal to them. But when they were hungry, it not even, we don't even get to honey. Bitter chloroquine is what they want. Hey. And this is the reason which leads sometimes the most spiritual God-loving people into something so bitter that the rest of their lives are colored by the bitter thing they were attracted to when they were hungry. And the hunger made them interpret the bitter as sweet. And the bitter as eatable. Hey! Sometimes you advise people before they get married. They will even be angry with you. They will even hate you for what you are saying. Because you can see, brother, when you enter the house and you are satisfied, you ask yourself that me at all me at all. What was in my mind? You see the person walking in front of you and you'll be annoyed. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I connected myself to? So, young, young brothers, you see, and sisters too, yeah, your, your hunger for love, it, it affects you. And that is why the marriages which are arranged by parents are more lasting than this hunger parade. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. You see the people. You are going to get my. Why are you getting my? This is all. I feel those. I feel something. Whoosh. You see, I remember when I saw my beloved at first. Like I remember a particular day I was walking down a particular hill somewhere. And I, was, I thought about her. And I felt something. Hey. And I remember the place that I had that feeling. So I was asking the Lord, that feeling is such a different feeling that it means that this 
is the love that I'm supposed to follow. You see, but I was a little wiser than that. I decided that I will not follow that love. Yeah. Charlie. Men may have seven types of women. Seven types. Know your women. I've written know your men. Now I'm going to know your women. <laughs> okay. So number one. So ask for advice for those who have seen certain things already. Just ask. You say, Pastor, what do you see? What do you see? Okay. Number one. Make sure you don't marry any woman until you see the evil in the woman. I told you that you should give your offering and go because this is just young brothers. It's a young brothers message. Until you see evil in the woman, you are blind. You don't know what you are going to marry. Proverbs 27. Verse 12. A prudent man sees the evil ahead. He, no, it doesn't say he sees the evil ahead. It says a prudent man sees evil. He sees evil. You see, you are walking, you haven't seen anything bad. You have just seen thighs. Oh. You have just seen hips, bottoms, breasts, and you are moving with energy. And you haven't seen anything evil. Then you haven't seen well. Yeah. A prudent man sees evil and hides himself. Every woman or man. I say, it's for, I told you. It's for, I have done know your men. It's now know your women. But you can, you can turn it around. And some of you, you may be married, but one day you may have to remarry. Not that, not that you divorce, but maybe your wife or your husband will die. Uh, so you can, uh, you can take the notes. You never know. I mean, this is a measure that applies to Bishop Saki today. Because he's, he's about to register as a beloved with the registration. You haven't seen anything bad about the person before. It's an angel that you've seen. Anybody you are going to marry, you must know the evil you are going to get from that person. You must know that this person, when I marry this person, number one, this. Number two, this. Number three, this. Coming from the person. Go and ask the person's sisters whether they quarrel, whether they cook before they saw you, whether they bath. How 
they behave. How they behave in the church. Who they quarrel with. How many people do you not talk to? Don't talk to this. Don't talk to this. Don't talk to this. Don't have this. Stay in the house with somebody. You don't talk to the person. You don't smile. You've made your face. You are moving. Whatever your mother says about you is true. With time, it will be proved right. One day, I was going to marry my beloved and my mother-in-law told me something. She said, oh, I, every time I tell her something to, uh, to whatever, she doesn't remember. And I told my mother-in-law, no, 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 no. It's not like that at all. She remembers everything. <laughs> huh? yeah. huh. The Bible says to the hungry man, every bitter thing is sweet. But as the years went by, I saw that what my mother-in-law said was true. So one day my wife said, oh, I forgot. Then she said, my mother told you, don't come to me. I forgot. My mother told you. Hey! Sometimes you see mothers rebuking daughters as if they don't even like them. That's why the daughters, they like their fathers. The father doesn't quarrel with them about anything. The mother is always facing because the mothers are not impressed. They are, they, don't, they are not impressed. You can see. They see themselves. They face. Hey. You are going to marry. You haven't seen anything bad. Oh, he's very handsome. He's very charming. He really likes chatting with me. He's very funny. He's spiritual. He loves the Lord. Hey. He loves the Lord. <laughs> loving the Lord is different from loving you. Hey. I said loving the Lord is different from loving somebody like you. That, that's why we sang that song. Love somebody like you and somebody like me. Just to think that I was so bad That you knew all about my past Aha, uh -huh, you knew But that didn't make you any difference You said you could fix all of that I got so excited Till my heart nearly skipped a beat It feels so good to be understood do you know what I mean? Sometimes it causes me to tremble. Sometimes it causes me to shed some tears. Sometimes it causes me to tremble. When I think that somebody, somebody like you, will love somebody like me. Just to think that somebody, somebody like you, will love Living a life with no plan A life that's broken and shattered in pieces That you put together again When I'm down, when I feel insecure That's when your love is gonna last You said your love isn't just an emotion It's just a matter of fact Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes it causes me to tremble Sometimes it causes me to shed some tears Sometimes it causes me to tremble When I think that somebody, somebody like you Will love somebody like me Just to think that somebody, somebody
Somebody 